Okay, so this is probably the most histogram incompatible data set. But just for illustrative purposes, I want to show you how you might plot a histogram if you wanted to just eyeball whether your data is normally distributed. This data is definitely not. So let's try histogram. Now, if you want um, to do just a really fast visualization, um, base graphics is actually a bit faster than ggplot. Most of the time you don't want a histogram that's publication um, worthy. So you can simply tell base graphics that you want to draw a histogram, tell it the data set that you want to use. So we want to plot data from the plot features and you use the dollar sign to refer to a particular variable within that data set. So in this case, we want to plot beach bugs and you run that oh yeah okay so you can see that the vast majority of the values are less than 500 and there are a very tiny few way out near 5000 that make this data set wildly skewed right so that's a super fast way to eyeball your data give that a go on your own um, data set if you want to let's see if we can get something that approximates a normal distribution by throwing together some filtering um, of the beaches data so let's use ggplot and take the plot beaches data and um, pipe it into we're going to hide the NAs first, and then we're going to filter. And I want to show you how you can string lots of filtering things together um, in a single call, right? So let's say we want to filter just for Clavelli Beach. So site double equals Clavelli, and then um, you just add another one. So we could say year equals 2018 and another one. Let's say that to try and get rid of some of this left skew, let's say we want to only look at log beach bugs that are values that are greater than zero. All right, and then we're going to pipe that into a ggplot. And for histograms, you actually only need to tell it an X aesthetic, because what it's going to do is work out the best bin width based on your data, and then count how many values fall into each of those bins. And so the Y axis is a count that um, R will do for you. So you just need to tell it that you want it to be plotting the log beach bugs data, and you're going to add a geom histogram. All right, let's see if that does any better than base graphics. Huh, all right, so it's not amazing. <laughs> what it's done is used a default bin width of 30, um, which is a little bit strange. You can change that though. Um, so what we can do is add a parameter to the histogram where let's make that bin width really small. So if we, what happens if we go bin with this 0.5? Oh, maybe better for this particular DV, right? So it's definitely not normally distributed. It's still way skewed left, but you can see how with your data, it might 
be interesting to plot a histogram um, and play around with that bin width to see what the most appropriate one is. It's just for fun, see whether that looks better if we go bin width of one. Ah, super boxy. Okay, what about a smaller bin width? Hmm, interesting. I think I like 0.5 best. Okay, so that is histogram.